Hey guys, I'm thinking back now that we're getting so close to this thing launching of what was going through my head at the first time I launched my first successful big team. And there was something I wanted to share with you just from a mindset perspective, which was a takeover mentality. One thing I had and one thing I was able to find just a handful of other people that had, they weren't even personally sponsored by me, but I found them on my pre-launch team. And these were people that had a takeover mentality. And what I mean by that is, these were people that were looking at this as an opportunity to take over the business, to just completely take over the business. And they were, we were committed enough to try to find a way to come up with a plan that was doable. Because when you do that, when you realize that it's actually doable, your energy level change, your intensity changes, the magic shows up. Um, you know, just saying, hey, I want to have a huge result. I want to have a big team, but not clearly knowing how it could actually happen is different. And I'm trying to see how would I be looking at this now if I were still in the field. And what I would be doing is I would be, I would make it all around this BX3. This makes it really easy to, to put numbers to it. And I would be trying to find, you know, 50 people in my whole pre-launch team. This is just me. You can water the numbers down. But I'd be trying to find 50 people that would commit to just going BX3. Because if I could do that, by then in 30 days, I would almost have a team of 500 new people. In 30 days. And that's momentum. And that will carry and that will grow out of control. You know, if 50 is too big for you, do 10. You know, that, that's a huge number. You would end up in 30 days, you would have almost 100 people on your team in 30 short days and you guys have no idea of what this could mean when you push those volumes and those numbers and those coded bonuses through the plan so that's what i would do i would i would i would figure out where i wanted to be i'd make it about bx3 and i would just find people and work with them on a data basis multiple times through the day hey how bad do you really want it you know let's commit to how many people can you commit to first can you commit to be at going bx3 you know and then how many people can you find in that group that will commit in 30 days to just being BX3. And for those of you that are, haven't been up to speed on things, that's just being the example that everybody else talks about. You know, you getting three and then helping each one of those people get three, that's it. I would have a singularly mind focused on, on that for the next 30 days and I would be wondering how many people can I find and get to verbally commit or even write it down, you know, to maybe commit to going BX3 in 30 days. That's magic guys and that's instant momentum. So takeover mentality. I hope that some of you have it. I hope that some of you have it and I hope that you are gearing up right now that you find to find to find your handful of people that will team with you to take it over. A lot of people don't know this, but we used to openly talk about this in my in the early early days of our team. We used to we used to adamantly talk about our goal is to take over this company. For we had a number, we had a percentage. We want X percent of every dollar to come through this company to come through our team. And we used to openly talk about it to the point where uh, people outside of our team and even the company thought it was a little bit aggressive and we backed off of it. But you know what? That mentality got us there. And it, that mentality had us to be the most solid, most driven, most organized team in the field and the most persistent. We lasted the longest. And it's because of how we started. We started with this unadulterated, uh, unrestrained mission to take over. It's takeover time for somebody.